371. It's been a long life, Chris. 371. You lived in my house. <laughs> Miss Melanie C. Yay. Where's my applause? There she is. Hey. Hey. Tiny call this. Saz. Seriously? Yeah, Saz? It's busy, isn't it? Yeah, it's a, one of the biggest capital cities on planet Earth. Oh, I don't do breakfast, you weirdo, working in the morning. I'm rock and roll. <laughs> Oh, please. You're about as rock and roll as a salad these days, you boy. Rock and roll as you. I love you so much. Radio X breakfast. Such a bad friend. (laughs) James, I think me and you should just duck out of this. Do you know know how good friends we are, Melanie and I? You're you're great for you. Go back years, you two, don't you? I've got the arse with her, but because we're good friends, I haven't told her. Oh, okay. Why? What's wrong? What have I done? Because in July, we were texting, and I'm like, anyway, when am I seeing you? And you replied, friends. And you replied, oh, I'm so busy at the moment. It's going to have to be October, babes. I went, October? It's July? You, we live 10 minutes away from each other. <laughs> I know. Was that July when I saw you? July? Wow. <laughs> so it has, this book... Hello, what I'm going to talk about. Has, it's taken so much. <laughs> it's been so much work. Have you More even work. read it? <laughs> <laughs> I've been very, very involved in this book. I know lots of people in similar positions to myself. Mm. Might be different, but you know me. I'm a little bit of a control freak. And it's my <gasps> story, so it was important yeah, to get it right. So why did you come and speak to me about it? I'm a, I'm a two-time Sunday Times best-selling author. I know. Please. I'm a fool. Um, we are friends, aren't we? We're proper friends. We are. And Melanie's, this is Melanie's book, which she has been working hard on. Just ask her, she'll tell you. Uh, <laughs> for what feels like the last couple of years. <laughs> that's all she's banged on about. I'm like, you know, I'm writing a book. Yeah. And if you flick through the book, is obviously it starts at the beginning. And then if you keep going through, then you get to the little picture section. Keep keep going through. Good pictures. <laughs> keep going through. No, 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 we're still going. Oh, keep this is going. going to come back to Chris, isn't it? Is anyone going to get a feeling? Going. This is all going to be about Chris. And when you get to page <laughs> 371. It's been a long life, Chris. 371. You lived in my house. <laughs> we lived together for a short amount of time. We yeah. lived together. Yeah, but it's chronological. This is when... 371? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it would be all about you today. You came but out... once, Chris, it's my book. It's my life. It's my story. I no. am your life! <laughs> <laughs> there are times in your life when... What would you have done without me? I know. I have to admit, you have been an incredible friend. We lived together. We had Sunday lunch together every <laughs> week for then? a year. <laughs> Did you? A year every Sunday. <laughs> Me, Did her, wow. and Vicky, Jeff, and Taylor. Oh yeah, oh. just the three of us. The oh, three of us okay. were the three must get beers every Sunday. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. Well, I don't want to bring it back to me again, but um, <laughs> there are no photos of me oh. in, in the book. Yet yeah, you tweeted a picture of me today, of you and me. Yeah. Which means that on your phone, there's loads of pictures of you and me, but mm-hmm. I never I never quite made it to the book. And look at some of these half arsed stars, right? <laughs> Pavarotti, Elton John, <laughs> Bruce Willis, Brian Adams. Whoever they are. Yeah. I mean, you know. Oh, there I am. That's me. There, that's, oh, that's McCartney. Oh, that is Paul McCartney. <laughs> yes. That's me, Macker at Glasgow. That's a yeah. cool picture, isn't it? That was so fun. Wow. So the book, I've not read all of it. I've just skimmed through. Just tried to find your bits. Most of it, weren't <laughs> yeah. you? From page 371, you know what happens. Yeah. What about you? Say what's not in there. You know the first time we ever met. Have you told that story on air? I may have done. Hmm. The first time I met you, mm-hmm. I met you and Jerry mm-hmm. at an award ceremony. And Jerry was uh, said rude things to me. <laughs> And you shook my hand. Rude is in like sexy rude or rude is in. Oh, no, not sexy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no. Um, uh, she goes, Oh, Chris Miles, you beat swear word. And then you went, Oh, you're Chris Miles. Oh, I've heard you on the radio. You're really funny. And you shook my hand. And I'm like, Girl power. Look at that. <laughs> and then Jerry was then nice because you were nice. She backtracked. I, I am the peacekeeper. So yeah. I was always the one. 
you know, tidying up the mess. But then yeah. everything goes out. You know, we grow up and we all get to know each other and things are better. And the last time I saw Jerry, I asked her if she put me in her will because she was going to sort her will out. Oh. And I, will you put me in the tube? It? Yeah. I love she was going to do a will on the tube. We're both in the tube. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. She's looking at me going, Chris. <sighs> Oh, I've got that picture in my phone as well. It's me, Jerry. Yeah, picture on the, yeah. She goes, what are you doing on the tube? I said, the same thing I'm, that you're doing on the tube. She goes, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> she goes, I'm not to do my will. I said, stickers in it, will you? She goes, do you know what? I will. So there you are. Well, you never know. Listen, because um, you were late, we, we have to wrap up now. But <laughs> Melanie's book. Do we? Is that it? Yeah. Flipping heck. Well, if you'd have been here on time, you'd have had an extra six minutes. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you too. I'll see you soon. See you in October. Yeah, October, yeah. October oh, 31st, yes. Halloween. Back. I'm trick-or-treating around at yours. Radio. The Chris Moyle Show.